Hello everybody, this is Ryan from Ryan's Guitar Shop. Today in my How to Teach Middle Schoolers, we're talking about tuning. And the first thing I would say is don't. So let me clarify a little bit. Don't teach them to tune in class. You will have a nightmare. It'll be complete chaos, it'll be complete disaster. I do teach them how to teach and tune at home. And I want them to practice tuning at home, but I will teach them to do that for home only. And I say for my beginners, this is for you to use at home so your guitar is in tune at home, but uh, I will take care of tuning needs in class. And what I mean by that is as we're doing warm ups, they have been instructed if their guitar sounds out of tune, it doesn't sound good, then they just raise their hand and I come quickly and tune it. Sometimes that means I'm tuning 10 or 15 at the beginning of class but it usually doesn't take me too long or they're not too horribly out of tune. Now I do allow my intermediates and advanced kids to tune. We have a set of tuners. A lot of them will use their phone um, and that's fine uh, because they've had a year of hopefully practicing at home and I found it works decently for intermediate advanced. But for beginners, there's no way I'm gonna have them tuning in class. It's I, Then I tell them it's not like teaching them a G chord or some notes or tab that I can just teach them and they automatically know how to do it. It's something that takes a lot of practice and so they just need to practice at home. Now I also tell them too if their guitar is really bad at home, bring it into class and I'll tune it before or after school and they can take it home. And then from these tuning tips that I give them, they should be able to tune it without too much problem from there. So this is what I do teach them. I teach them three levels of tuning. First is I teach them how to use the Guitar Tuna app that is on the Android and App Store for Apple. It is completely free. And I have a video on this channel showing how to use that app and you can follow the link to be able to watch that video and use that video. Uh, the reason why I start here is because I think this is the easiest and the best. Obviously, it's a tuner, so it's going to help them with the highs and the lows of where they need to turn the string. But secondly, or most importantly, the reason why I like this app is it has that picture of the guitar headstock on there. And it, the tuner will light up the different pegs and the different strings that it thinks they're tuning. And I think that visual cue is a huge, tremendous advantage when learning how to tune the guitar because they can see exactly what string the tuner thinks they're trying to do and then they can still see the highs and the lows. Then I teach them step two is I just teach them how to use this, the, the kind of the go-to clip-on tuners that are very popular now. And I tell them this is a slight, um, what do we want to say? It's not necessarily a disadvantage, but this is, it's a little harder to use There's a, because we just have the screen with the letter name on it to tell us if it's in tune or not. So after they use the Guitar Tuna app and they maybe want to purchase one of these apps, uh, or not apps, excuse me, the tuner itself, then I say this is kind of a good second level. It's a little, you know, they're fairly portable. They can put it in their guitar case um, and things like that. But obviously the disadvantage is that that's going to cost money where the app is completely free. But I, I run through, again, I have a slideshow slash video here on YouTube that shows how to use one of those and some of the differences from using an app. And then lastly, I teach them, I still think it's important to teach them how to tune the guitar itself. So in their book, I have this handout in the description below as well of the steps of how to tune the guitar itself. And I know at this day and age, most kids will not use that and they'll kind of think, well, why do I need to use that? I've got a tuner. And I told them when I was growing up, this is how I had to do it. And I know I'm dating myself. We didn't have the tuners. And I know I sound old. Like, oh, we didn't have tuners when I was an age. I'd, you know. But I also told them as, as I was performing a lot in college, and I did have a tuner. There's a couple times where my tuner ran out of battery. Um, there's one time, in fact, it slipped off my leg. I had it sitting on my leg while I was trying to tune, and it fell on the floor and shattered. Um, so I had to fall back on this. And so I tell them it's a great emergency tool. And I tell them, in fact, for myself, I still, even when I use a tuner, I still mostly only tune the first string and then I tune the guitar to itself. Now, again, for me, that's been play playing a long time and I know that there's slight discrepancies in the guitar and how it's set up. That if I just tune with a tuner, sometimes it's not perfect. So I still use this and sometimes that's a good way. I mean, I don't know if I've convinced them at all, but, you know, I've had a few kids years later come back and like, man, I wish I knew that how to do that thing. And with the tuning of the guitar itself and so I just kind of explained that there's these three levels and I know that most of them are just going to go with the guitar tuna app 
that's great. I'm happy with that. And some of them will get these clip-on tuners and they'll use those. And I know, again, the, the very few will do that, but I'll sleep better at night knowing at least I did my job and at least ex I gave them a chance, showed them what to do with the emergency tuning or tuning a, the guitar to itself. So, uh, again, don't be afraid to teach them how to tune, but beware that, again, if you the earlier levels of guitar, they're going to have a much harder time and they're going to probably end up in, erupt into chaos every time you do it. You're probably going to have a lot of broken strings. You're probably going to have to go back and fix a lot of the tunings anyways. So my opinion is just save yourself the hassle. Just tune them on an as-need basis uh, in class. Hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.